Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with a, another unique and creative drink. I got to thank my uh, buddy Jaime Cobos for suggesting that I try this drink. Uh, full confession, I've had it one time, and that was a couple days ago. But that was so I could kind of uh, get an idea. Cause I had a feeling it would be a little bit of a different recipe. Um, give you an idea what we're doing. We're making a root beer espresso-based drink. So... Sounds very odd, but you got simple ingredients. You've got roughly three quarters to an ounce of espresso, 12 ounces of soda, two and a, uh, excuse me, a quarter to half an ounce of vanilla syrup. I'm using a sugar-free vanilla here, and then a splash and half and half. Uh, I tried my last one. Um, I did it uh, with one ounce of espresso. Today I'm gonna try it with the three quarters of an ounce. I found it to be a little intense on the espresso side the last time, so I figure let's see how knocking back a little do. Today I'm using a Ethiopian dry processed bean. It's got great tasting notes, very fruity, uh, but still has a, gr a very, very good base. So let's go ahead and load up. And don't worry if you're following along, I'm not gonna always do really random weird drinks. Uh, this is I thought this was just a great suggestion. So I figured why not try it? I do wanna get into uh, some of like the basics of espresso here very soon. Like I said, I'm no expert, I'm just kinda of learning, but if people see my mistakes, maybe they can uh, point them out. Now with this machine, I do like to uh, hold down the uh, the double button for a few seconds. Uh, it tends to sometimes let a little espresso through before during the pre-infusion. So I found if I hold it up and build up the pressure first, do a little longer pre-infusion, it tends to work a little bit better for me at least. Oop, totally missed the cups. And I did find that I, uh, as I was dialing this bean, I liked it to be a little longer in the shot uh, time frame. So this is going a little bit more towards the 25 to 30 second shot area. Get some beautiful crema. Bad thing with this is you lose a shot. Well, if you're pulling doubles, but I'm just gonna drink it later. So we got two amazing aesthetically looking shots, about an ounce each, just a hair off with the crema. So let me grab my cup real quick. Add it in the freezer. I'm gonna pour in my vanilla. So I've got half an ounce there. This is the part to take a little bit. I found with uh, drinks like this, you wanna make sure the carbonated beverage is in first uh, versus the coffee. If the coffee comes in, it the way it reacts together, it I won't say it creates an explosion, but it definitely is not the most pleasurable. Okay, the, just like I said, the overall reaction. And of course, root beer loves to foam up. I'm gonna call that good. We're gonna go ahead, and this shot is three quarters of an ounce here. Pour that in. I'm gonna do it just a dab more because I'm not gonna use that much uh, half and half. So it's literally just a splash. It gives it a beautiful look too. See it kind of cascade down. And that is it. In just a second, I will uh, stir it up and do a tasting. And we're back. 
So the drink has been sitting, kind of getting a nice uh, cool temperature to it right now. And just for those interested, here is the uh, bean. It's uh, Sweet Maria's Ethiopian Dry Process Shakiso uh, Koramai, but tasting notes of aromatic fruit, rustic undertones, raspberry, berry-like acidity, dehydrated fruit, strawberry rhubarb pie, earthy cacao, and sandalwood. I get just an amazing taste off it. But here's the drink. See, it kind of started together. It's got a nice, cool setup here. Let's go ahead and take a sip. Oh yeah, that is much better. I'd say the three quarters ounce espresso makes a huge difference. Um, I'm also using a little lighter bean. Last time I used my Nicaraguan, which is a little stronger and more intense. Um, this is well, much more balanced. Um, you still get that espresso on the tongue, but you get the vanilla, which there's already in root beer. There's already in a good in a good root beer. There'll be vanilla in there. Um, I suggest you go with some uh, obviously something you like. This is just diet A and W because it's what convenient. Um, I'm a big fan of Sprecher root beer. I just didn't want to run to the store and get that uh, a little farther trip. But you get this creamy vanilla flavor that half and half does an amazing job of kind of balancing all that out. Uh, gives it even a more intense cream type flavor. But like I said, just that hint with the root beer and the espresso, the balance together. Mm. Yeah, I would say definitely, I think that ratio is perfect. Three quarters of an ounce, beautiful, beautiful shot in there. So I could see this being amazing as a root beer float as well. You could get rid of the half and half and do ice cream as well. That would probably be a simple little change, no ice. Just use ice cream. And with that being creamier and richer, you might want to up the espresso amount as well. That's what I've got, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Once again, comment below anything you want me to you want to see me do. Um, like I said, I think I'm going to go to some kind of basics, like explain my setup, how I dial in, different things like that. Maybe get into a little roasting. We'll see how that goes as well. So have a great one. We'll see you next time.